we've shown you the squats, we've shown you the lunges, we've told you why we're doing strength training, why we're doing weight training for runners. Uh, so I give most of my runners three or four exercises only. So although I really value weight training, it's something we are mostly done with within half an hour, right? Uh, it doesn't take ages. So now we're going to show you straight leg deadlift and good mornings. Two exercises that are very similar and both are for improving strength in glutes and hamstrings. Um, for us as runners, the, probably one of the most important things in running, in, in, in being able to run faster, is the impact we have on the ground. Yeah? So the, the harder we can touch the ground in a split second, the further we fly, the, the longer our strides, the faster we can run. Yeah, so for that, here is really our powerhouse. We have to make it strong so that we are able to have a hard impact on the ground. All right? So that's why we do this exercise. Again, just like with all the other weight training exercise, this is not magic. It's not something like if you, if you can be a great weightlifter, you're going to be a great runner. Right? Otherwise, all the weightlifters would be amazing runners. But it's just one part of the puzzle. It's like the base that you do. It's like, you know, you do this first, it's the foundation of the house. After that, you're going to build the wall. So you're going to do hill sprints, you're going to do circuit training, plyometric exercises. You're going to run 200, 300 meter repetitions to get speed. All that is part of the puzzle, right? Actually, Collins can show this, but I, I'll just show him first. So maybe you will show this like good mornings, where you stand like this, you have your feet uh, shoulder width apart, you go slowly forward and then back. Keep your back in extension and look up. Yeah, so you go down slowly, keep your back in extension, up. So you keep your feet shoulder width apart, look up, keep your back in extension, go slowly forward. Okay, while doing this, he makes sure that he keeps his back in extension. Yeah, the moment his back is not extending anymore, but is going like uh, flexed, then he has to come back, for, uh, come back up. He's going to look up. Uh, by looking up, he, he helps his back to stay in extension. He's going to keep his legs straight, goes forward slowly, and comes back with some force. Yes. He's basically pushing his hips forward. Next, Collins is going to show us the um, straight leg deadlift, which is very similar. It's your, you're actually trying to do the same thing. You're just doing it in a little bit different way, but you're using the same muscles. Uh, for this, he's going to keep his legs straight. So he's not going to bend his legs, but keep them straight. His arms are holding the bar, but he's not lifting with his arms, right? He's not using the, you know, his, his muscles to lift, the arm, to lift the bar. He's just holding it simply, and he's purely using his hamstrings for the action that he's doing. Yeah. So again, same idea as good mornings. Look up, keep the back in extension, keep the legs straight, go down slowly, and then push the hips forward, engage the hamstrings and uh, gluteus, with some force. Connors is now showing it without any weight. You can build this up with the weight. Also, if you know the bar becomes light for you, you're going to add 10, 15, 20 kg. Not too heavy because you should be able to come forward with some speed, but you can definitely build up the weight a bit. 
just like with the other exercises like squat and lunges we do this one a maximum of three repetition uh, three sets of eight repetitions yeah so normally athletes start with one set of six to eight repetitions and they build it up to two or three sets uh, with the with the highest weight they can handle while still doing the exercise in a proper way yeah so you don't want to compromise on your form as long as your form stays well you can build up the weight uh, this exercise you normally can't build up as much as the squat uh, but you can definitely try to increase the weight as it becomes uh, comfortable for you